It was the first day of school for students in San Jose, and they are all at home. KPIX 5's Kenny Choi says most teachers, however, were in their classrooms. Kenny? Liz, the majority of teachers uh, worked from their uh, school classrooms today, according to the teachers' union. They also say that distance learning 2.0 in the fall will be dramatically different night and day compared to the spring. For these teachers at Hoover Middle School, logging on at a virtually empty campus was the better option. Being able to come to their classroom gives them more space and privacy to be able to, to do their job. Teachers choosing to work from home have to submit their decision to the school district. Under the new agreement, they'll be allowed to do so until the end of September. The majority of teachers uh, were comfortable coming into their classrooms, were in their classrooms today, uh, but there was definitely a, a, a sizable number of them who were had a lot of anxiety. Um, many of them have personal experiences with, uh, with COVID-19. Vanessa Mincy and her three children came to the park after finishing their first day of distance learning 2.0. We did scavenger hunts on Zoom, even though we're not in the same classroom. So that was very fun. It was more of a let's get to know each other, let's, you know, kind of get accustomed to the Zoom, and uh, it was. It was short and sweet. For Shelly Franco, taking care of her niece who started kindergarten today didn't feel very different from distance learning in the spring. You're not, you know, in person, so now behind the screen, you're trying to keep the child engaged, and that's the hard part. It feels different when you don't have the children here at school, of course, um, but it, we are all learning ways to interact with our students virtually. There are definitely technology issues to iron out. There are definitely, you know, students who had some difficulty logging on. Um, I think all of that was to be expected. Yeah, Kenny, there's a theme going on here. It's the tech, the tech problems that are really tough to iron out. What were some of the tech issues that some students or teachers had to deal with today? Liz, that's part of uh, distance learning and some of the problems that yeah. they're facing. One principal we talked to said that some families were having some issues connecting this morning. So then they set up a pickup time for those families to come and get the hardware that they needed to connect tomorrow. Now, bottom line for all students, whether you're in San Jose Unified School District or other districts, mm -hmm. reach out to the teachers and school officials first. If you're having those problems, if you need a laptop, if that uh, is not solved, then you contact the district officials and they should be able to help you out. We're live in San Jose. Kenny Choi, KPIX 5. There are resources out there. All right, Kenny, thank you.